Hello, you have logged into One India News YouTube channel and this is Mariam. So the two countries, India and China, are stuck over the Doklam issue for quite some time now. Now war doesn't seem to be a feasible option for either of them. In the previous videos that we did earlier, we made it clear how a war will be disadvantages to both the nations. So the question arises, what is the solution for India at hand? Now India currently has two diplomatic options to solve this crisis. And the second option involves prolonging the standoff till November. That is the time till the National Congress of the Communist Party of China concludes. Now we need to analyze the pros and cons of both these options. First option, that is of replacing Indian troops with the Royal Bhutan Army. Now we need to analyze the pros and cons of both these options. So the first option was that the Indian troops in the Doklam region, they get replaced with the Royal Bhutan Army, eventually followed by a disengagement and withdrawal of troops by both the countries, that is China and Bhutan. Now China has been maintaining that it will not hold any talks with India until Indian troops back off from the region. So this option actually gives China a face saver. How this happens is because though army would still stay in the Doklam region, but the technicality of the Indian troops backing off from the region will get fulfilled. However, there is one drawback to this option. Now India is confident that if in case it proposes an option like this, it will definitely get Bhutan support. But it will also encourage Bhutan to eventually engage with China directly and develop diplomatic ties. And India's fear also stems from the fact that in 2013, Bhutan it tried to develop a balanced foreign policy which would have translated into developing diplomatic ties with China. And at that point of time, the then NSA chief Shiv Shankar Menon, he immediately had to rush to Bhutan to dissuade the country from doing so. The second option for India is to prolong the standoff till November. That is by the time the National Congress of the Communist Party of China concludes. Now by November, winter would have set in and the weather would have deteriorated enough for any military activity or road construction to take place. Also, when the National Congress of the Communist Party of China concludes, it will allow President Xi Jinping to bring down the rhetoric which is required for political support in the Congress. And thus, an environment will be created for de-escalation of this matter on both the sides by mutual disengagement. Now the second option is based on the assumption that China will never escalate this matter to a military conflict. Moreover, India has shown a lot of restraint and patience when it comes to not responding to China's provocative statements. So it is being assumed that the status quo can actually continue like that till November. Thus the most plausible and feasible option for India is to prolong the standoff till November until the National Congress of the Communist Party of China concludes. Well, that's all for now. Hope you found the piece of information interesting. In case you have any queries or doubts regarding this, you can mention them in the comment section down below. Also, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, One India News, and do not forget to click on the bell so that you get notifications about all the latest updates and videos.